To start flowing your portrait pages, just come to the Portraits tab, click Portrait Wizard. The first thing you're going to do is select your portrait folders that you want to flow. You can just work on one class at a time. Uh, you can work multiple classes, okay? So we're going to flow grade 7 and 8 into this section. So I load those up just by dragging them to the right, and I click Portrait Wizard. The Portrait Wizard allows you to save settings of all the different controls, and so you can load them up and apply them to all your different portrait pages throughout the book. Really good time-saving feature. It's always going to ask you to load your settings when it launches. So here's what we've got here. There is a basic version of the Portrait Wizard. If you switch to basic, you'll see kind of a subset of these features. We're in advanced mode now, and I'm going to go through advanced mode in detail. Okay, so first up, we've got portrait settings. Portrait settings are just rows and columns, okay? That's what it's, what it's all about. We've got text settings for any text on the page. We've got flow settings, and flow settings are how you handle one class to the next when you're flowing multiple classes. Help and info gives me some important info down here. For example, I have 61 portraits in two folders. I need three pages with the current portrait settings. Well, what does that mean? The current portrait settings are six rows and four columns, okay? 24 kids per page. I need three pages, okay? So the next thing I wanna do is decide where I wanna put these portraits. So this is the current page I'm on. And then these are all the pages of my section. So I'm gonna keep the first spread here and then the next one, and then I'll start right here, and I'm gonna click Apply. Once I click Apply, it's gonna lay my portraits down on that particular page. And you can even see that it's updated the page here as well, okay? And now I can start to fine tune. So I've got a six by four. What if I went um, six rows and five columns and tighten those up a little bit? One of the things that's important to look at at this point with multiple classes is that for multiple folders, where do you want the next folder, meaning the next class, to go? I've got it set on the next page. And so what happens is I float all that class, and you see I ran out because that class fits in a, in a 6 by 5 Okay, there's 22 to 24 photos, and so I've got 30 spaces here, and so it fits just nicely. I could also have it flow on the next line, and so you can see that class, the next class starts here. You almost never want to do that unless you're going to flow two classes on the same page or something like that. But it's important that you kind of understand this feature, okay? If I want to flow it on the next photo, it's going to run two classes together. The only time you want to do that is maybe you're putting all kindergarten together or something like that, okay? Most typical, flow it on the next page. So right now, I've got this class on this page. This is grade 7, okay? I can change the font here. I've got all my 200 fonts here, and I've got, you know, font size, style, color, and, and, and things like that all here. I can adjust the name position here. The name position can be on the outside or it can be on the center below the portraits. One thing I'm seeing now is I've got a couple of errors here, okay? These errors are also, the text for them is down here. Not all named text will fit with the current settings. Okay? So when I move these images below, I've got a couple long names here that won't fit. A couple ways I can fix that. I can change font, change font size, okay? My goal is to get all those warnings to go away. One of them fit better, but not both of them fit. I can drop it down to eight point then that name fits. Or I can put the name on multiple lines. If I put the name on multiple lines, it's going to take up more space for my portraits, but then I can have bigger names here, okay? The goal is to make sure all those warnings go away. Notice that you can also put other things here. I can drag a job title over there and put the name on three lines if I want to, okay? So a lot of flexibility here. I'm going to put the names back to the outside for my purposes. So the other things we can do, portrait settings over on the left, I can have a margin. I can make a bigger margin here. I can add a little candid collage up at the top or something like that if I want to. Okay, I can also have a bottom margin for the same thing. Okay, teacher portraits are in the same folder. 
If you have a teacher denoted on the photos page, then those teachers automatically flow into the first positions if they're in this folder. Okay. The other thing that you can do is you can have a large teacher frame. And if I have a large teacher frame, then I can flow the teacher into this large teacher frame. Okay. I can have multiple large teacher frames, for example, a teacher and an assistant teacher. And the more columns I have, the more teacher frames I can have, okay? So I only have two teacher frames right now. If I went to six columns, I'd have a third teacher frame I could add, okay? So I think I have the portraits the way that I like it. I'll do one more apply just to make sure I've updated all the settings. And then let's continue. I'll go to the next page and I'll apply, okay? I know that this is the beginning of the next folder. And I also know this is grade eight. So I'll make that ch quick change there and click apply. And then there's more photos in this folder. I'll go to the next page and click apply. How did I know that? Because it told me that I need three pages. Okay. So if you look down here, I've got grade seven and then I've got grade eight. So I like it. I think it's done. I'll go ahead and click okay one last time. I'll come out of the portrait wizard. If I made any changes to my settings, I might want to update them right now. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, and so here's what we've got. We've got grade seven, and then we've got grade eight, and then we've got grade eight continued over here. So that's a quick couple of portrait pages. And now you can use the features in advanced design to make additional enhancements.